Hello everyone! In today's video I will take a list of items like I see right here. So item, 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 and the fourth item. And each item li element can have a price inside. So all this spans with class price, our prices. And notice that some just have numbers, some have text, like on sale, 10% off. And we want to confirm that all these list items are actually are sorted by price. We can see how this HTML looks in the page. So right now they are sorted by price. So we want to confirm that. The first thing we want to do is to confirm that the number of items is the same as number of prices. Otherwise we cannot be sorted by price if there is a mismatch. So here's how we do it. And before I show it, I'm gonna put the test on the top. And I'm going to put the test runner on the bottom. And I'm going to just increase the command lock so we can see this clearly. Okay, let's start. So we loading the page, the items might appear after delay. So the way I get the item initially is I use the get with selector, followed by an assertion. And in this case, I don't care about the number of items. I know there should be at least more than one item, right? So this takes care of items appearing after delay, okay? by retrying this command until this assertion is true. Okay, so we have four items as the command log below shows. Now, what do we do with these items? We have to get a list of prices and we can copy the same command, so price, and we can immediately attach the assertion should. And what is the length? Well, we got the list of items right here. So the list of prices should be the same. So four equals four. Now let's actually get all the prices, like we've done right here, and confirm that they're sorted. So we're gonna get the prices, and what are we getting? Well, we're getting a jQuery object. If we want to extract text from jQuery object by mapping and getting the inner text property, well, we have to iterate. And the way we iterate and extract something from jQuery object, we convert it into an array. Now we could use Cypress jQuery make array, or even better is to say, we'll use a built-in low dash map method, which can take prices, price, and say, okay. So the low dash map can take something that looks like an array, like jQuery object, iterate for each element and get inner text and return. And now this is an array. We can dump it into console. And if we open this, we should see our array. Now, dumping it into the console log is kind of problematic because we don't see it in the video. We only see whatever is in the command log or on the page in the video. So instead of doing this, I usually just do scilog. Well, unfortunately, it prints array 4, so we should form a string. So we can say join, and then, and you can use browser internationalization to format this list. But one problem here is that this array might be too long. Right? Imagine you have hundreds of items. So a good rule of thumb is to slice maybe, you know, first three or five or ten elements. Okay? And just print those. Okay, so now we have text. The text can have multiple words. Only the first one is the price. So let's extract the first word from each. So at this point, I'll say, here's a utility function. Giving some text returns the first word. So I'll say, const words is and at this point the text is an array so map first word and let's see join okay so we had all the words now we have just the first word from each string and this adjusts the prices but they also have extra markup right they can have the currency symbol right we want to strip all of it down and to strip it we'll use a regular expression so here's my regular expression just digits replace everything that is not a digit or a dot Right, so we can say const almost numbers. That's a good name. So we'll take words, map, just digit. Okay, and again, we can print this almost numbers, almost numbers. So now you can see that these are ready to be converted into floats. To convert, we can say almost numbers, map, parse, float. Remember, you want to convert using parse float, not parse in, because these are floating points. So these are real numbers now, okay? 
notice all the zeros that are trailing are removed and now we have a real thing. Now at this point we need to make sure that these numbers are sorted. The easiest thing is to sort them and then compare them to arrays. The initial one and the sorted one. So I'm going to say sorted. Cypress includes low dash which includes sort by. And here's our assertion. Expect sorted to equal, because these are two different arrays, numbers. Perfect. Now let's maybe uh, flip the prices around. So instead of being the most expensive, we'll say 2.99 at the end. And now notice the sorted array has prices in different order compared to initial ones. So our test is working. Of course, you can rewrite this, maybe combine into a single uh, iteration, right? Make this test readable. So far, so good. Last piece of advice, all these tests uh, can be found at my website Gleb Bakhmutov at Cypress Examples. You can say, you know, sorted and it goes immediately to a recipe where I describe this solution in detail. So remember this address and I'll put it in the video description.